Hello everyone. Um, welcome to the second session of the day. Uh, today I will explain to you relationships uh, in the Android app. Uh, so yeah, let's start with it. Um, when we talk about relationships in the Android app, uh, it's important to mention that uh, we only support uh, relationships between TIs, okay? And relationships between events and TIs. Uh, we do not support the other way around. Events have to be on the left side of the relationships. Um, also, we don't support enrollment either. So, but there are no constraints when it comes to programs or unit or track entity type. For example, you could have a relationship between uh, two persons in different programs, or for example, a relationship be between a person and an area uh, that are different track entity types. So no problem about that. Um, where can you see um, the relationships? So basically, uh, if you go to the day dashboard, um, you can see here at the bottom bar uh, in the third bottom that has a circle. If you click on it, um, you will see a list like this one, okay? Um, in this list, uh, you see that Victor Garcia uh, has two uh, relationships, one with Pablo and another one with Andres. If you click, for example, uh, on this item on Pablo, you could see uh, some enrollment details and you could, you could even navigate uh, to Pablo Tay dashboard. I will show it to you later. Um, another thing that you, you can do is to delete the TI, okay? So let me just show you. I have here uh, my application. Uh, I'm gonna go to COVID-19 case registration. Re registration. So I'm gonna click, for example, on Jaime. Okay, this is uh, my TA dashboard. I'm gonna click on relationship, which is the third button, okay? And now you can see that uh, I have a relationship with uh, Helen, okay? If um, I click on Helen, um, I can just navigate by clicking here. I can navigate to Helen Day dashboard, okay? So that's one thing you can do. Another thing uh, we could do is to delete um, the relationship if I click here, okay? So how um, can you create the relationship type? So uh, let me uh, go to the server and explain to you step-by-step step how can you create a relationship type. Uh, it's important to mention that uh, for the next exercise, you don't need to create a relationship type. We are giving it to you. So it's already there for you. But let me explain in more details. So if you go to maintenance, okay, and you go to a program section, um, you log in as an admin user. Um, you, if you click on relationship type, uh, you can create a new one. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is to put a name, okay, to the relationship. In my case, I have chosen, has been in contact with. Um, I have clicked here, bidirectional. Bidirectional means that uh, you can navigate uh, from the left side to the right side, and then from the right side to the left side. You can navigate both ways, the relationship. Um, this text that you see here, uh, it just is the same text that, you see here, this person has been in contact with. In this specific case, uh, Jaime is the initiating entity and Helen is the receiving entity. So the text, this is the text that is showing up here, okay? Um, another thing you have to do is to um, define the constraints, okay? The, both left side and right side. Uh, in the case of uh, left side, uh, you have three options. You can choose uh, between track entity instance, enrollment program, and events. In this case, for the left side, we can only choose between track entity instance and events, okay? We do not support enrollment. Um, for the right side, you can only choose track entity instance, okay? Because we don't support these two for the right side. Um, then you choose a track entity type, we want to create a relationship between two persons and these two persons uh, belongs to the same program, okay? So I choose here my program and that's it for the relationship. So also very important, when you create a relationship type, remember uh, everything in DHS2 has uh, shared settings. 
uh, you have to go to share settings and give the specific permissions. But again, you don't need to create this uh, relationship type. It will it, it is there for you in the exercise, okay? Just to let you know how you can create a relationship type. So um, let, let me just uh, go back to the slides. Uh, yes, one second, yes. So, um, well, sorry, I forgot to mention something. Uh, I forgot to show you how to create a relationship. So let me just uh, go to Jaime here, uh, to the relationship uh, screen. And now if you want to create a relationship in the Android app, okay, you click on this button on the plus, and now it's gonna show me all the relationships, all the relationship types available in this case, uh, we have here has been in contact with, which is the relationship that I just show you on the server. So I can click here, okay? And then I have to choose a program because you can have a relationship between different programs. So in my case, I choose ST00, which is my user. And then I can choose a TI. Once I click on one of these, there, there will be a, a new relationship created. Um, so yeah, that's how you create a relationship just by going to uh, your day dashboard uh, and then just going to the relationship screen and clicking here to, by, and then choosing a program, okay? So uh, there are different ways you can visualize a relationship. Uh, the list is one way, but you can also visualize then uh, with a map. Okay, in the same screen, uh, in the list screen, I will show you later, there is this button, a map. If you click here, you can see uh, that, for example, uh, Victor has two relationships, these two relationships, and the two arrows indicates that it's a bidirectional relationship. So this is one way of seeing it. Uh, you have another way of seeing it. It's uh, by going to the search screen, and then clicking oh, just right here in the bottom bar, in the right button. This is uh, the same that Andres showed you before, but I will show it to you again. Um, then you can click on the map layers and you can say, hey, I wanna see uh, this relationship has been in contact with. So you will, you will be able to see the relationships in the map. So just let me show you. Um, for example, uh, here, just let me go back to do everything again. So I, I can go to uh, Helen, for example. Helen has uh, two relationships, okay? Um, and here there is a map, okay? I can click on this map and then I can see the two relationships. Uh, Helen is just right here and has a relationship uh, with Jaime and another with Alberto. Uh, as you can see, there are two arrows because it's a bidirectional relationships, okay? Uh, uh, another way of seeing your relationships is, just let me go back again. I'm here in the search screen, okay? Um, you can just go to the bottom bar and just click on this button. You can just click on, on map layers. And then you, you can say, hey, I want to see uh, has been in contact with, okay? So you click here. So let me, oh, let me just zoom in. Um, you can see that uh, here is Helen. It has a relationship with Jaime and then it has, it has also a, re a relationship with Alberto. Uh, Sorry about the image uh, being black. Uh, it's uh, um, the color is not working well in the emulator, so that's why you don't see the image uh, well. Um, but if you do it in your device, you can see everything uh, perfectly. It, it's because uh, the library being used doesn't work well with the emulator. Um, so um, yeah, let me go back to the slides. Um, another. Um, thing you can do, as I mentioned before, is that you can um, uh, create a relationship between uh, different track entity types. For example, I can have a track entity type called area, um, where uh, it will be a, 
uh, it could uh, be a polygon, okay? Instead of a GPS coordinate, it will be a polygon, and then you could have a person. And I could name that relationship uh, belongs to the area, and then in the map, you could see something like this. Uh, this could be, for example, a COVID area of cases, and then you see this uh, TI, which is Pablo, that belongs to this, ar to this area, okay? So again, you, you don't have constraints uh, when it comes to track entity type uh, or units or, or program. Just to, I want to, to show to you this example. Um, so one important thing, uh, the word of the day is offline, okay? So I'm gonna write down later on the Slack uh, so in case uh, someone miss it, uh, it's, it's offline, okay? So now you have to, uh, let me, uh, show the exercise, okay? You have to create, uh, you have to create two relationships, okay? With three, th with three cases, okay? So in the previous exercise uh, with Andres, you created multiple TIs, okay? So what you can do now is to create two relationships and one of the relationships uh, has to be the index case, okay? And then you have to visualize your relationships in the map, and sync with the server. So what you will need to do is to send a screenshot um, of the map showing the relationships that you have created. So let me just go back again. Uh, so this could, this could be an example uh, valid. Uh, you have uh, three TIs and uh, one of them is the index case, which is Helen, the one in the middle and two relationships. So this could be valid for the exercise, okay? So, um, so yeah, that was it. 